Shalom Israel. All praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the Akimot there pushing this truth all over the earth. So yeah, the, the, the title of this lesson, Meditate on His Word Daily. You know, out here in this treacherous world, man, out here in Esau's kingdom, man, you know, navigating Esau's kingdom, you got to meditate on, on, on the words of the Most High, you know. Let's go to Sirach chapter 6, verse 37. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. at thine own desire. Right? So yeah, you gotta you gotta have your mind on the most high, your mind on Yahweh Shai. Your mind on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Daily, man. Continually, right? Your mind on his statutes, on his commandments, right? It's important, you know what I mean? You know? There's all kinds of demons out here right now, man. You know what I mean? And if you're not grounded in the Mosai, the words of the Mosai, you know what I mean? Demons can jump on you, man. You know what I mean? Joshua, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate, meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Right? Verse 9. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is with thee, whatsoever, whether, whithersoever thou goest. Right? So, yeah. You know what I mean? Meditate on these words daily, man. You know what I mean? So that the angels of the Most High are around you. And camped it around you. You know what I mean? Keep you safe, man. Them demons are ramping out here, man. Especially in these last days. It's just getting crazier and crazier. You know what I mean? So you gotta pray daily. Pray without ceasing. Stay in prayer. Stay in the scriptures. Right? Meditate on the words of the Most High daily. Let's go to the book of Psalms, verse the book of Psalms, chapter one, verse two. Let's go up to verse one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his, delight, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. Right? So as long as you're in these scriptures, in the laws of the Mosai, daily, day and night. You know, always have your always have your brain. Always have your brain, your thought process on, you know, the laws of the most high, man. You know what I mean? Daily, every day, man. You know what I mean? It's not no uh, sometime-ish thing, you know. I don't feel like it today. Or maybe later. You know what I mean? There is no later, man. Got to meditate on these words daily, man. It's these words. It's, 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 it's these words are going to put that. It's these words in these scriptures that will create that. Put that hedge around you. You know what I mean? The hedge of protection. Right? Let's go to Psalms 119. Verse 97. Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Right? All day, man. Every day. Though through thy commandments hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I mean, commandments, commands the most high are always with you, man. In your heart, in your brain. Right? Verse 99. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. Right? Meditating on the testimonies of the most high. Meditating on the book, 
scriptures, the books, these verses, these Psalms, you know, the book of Joshua 1 verse 8, which we read, you know, that's meditating on his testimonies. Sirach 6 verse 37, you know what I mean? That's meditating on his testimonies, right? Verse 100, I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts, right? Keeping the precepts, man, gives you understanding, wisdom, you know what I mean? I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. Right? You know, don't be out there doing wrong, evil. You know what I mean? Keep that feet away from that stuff. You know what I mean? Stay in this word, stay in this truth. Right? Verse 102. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yeah, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. All right, so through these precepts, through these words, through, the, through, through this holy word, we get understanding, man. You know what I mean? We get understanding. And it, keeps us, it keeps us firm. It keeps us solid. You know, while, while, all these, uh, while all these calamities are starting to ramp up around us, man, we're standing firm. You know what I mean? We're calm in this, you know what I mean? Because we know all this got to pass, man. You know what I mean? Right now, all the news is talking about is this hurricane hitting on, hit, uh, making landfall in Louisiana right now. You know what I mean? Right. And us us in this truth, the men of the Lord, we're, we're calm, man. Right? We're calm. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Right? So, yeah, I pray that this was uh, edifying. You know what I mean, stay focused, stay in this word, Israel. You know, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak Kadash. Peace, uh, peace, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to Akimot here, pushing this truth all over the earth. Shalom.